What's up everyone, Doyler here, and I am back with a new Flame Shrine boss. So, as you can see, it's day one against Siggy, and Randomized has put in about 310 billion damage. So, let's get everyone set up and see if we can beat him. Gonna run a Thakwa in the front with that Holy Attack Attack Stone, since we're gonna run Dragon. Still got the Glittery Antlers Cane, and we will keep Purify on her for that burn and debuff from... Siggy. Gonna run Drake in the front line with that glittery DB. 2-2 two, two split. Speed HP. He will also get Purify. And if you didn't see my last video, you'll know that the speed skin actually means we don't have to run that tier 1 speed enable since he is now 1 speed faster than Athaqua. Gonna run Heart Watcher in the back with a regular Demon Bell. 2-2 two, two split. Speed HP. Standard enables. Both the Lossiums are built tanky. And finally, our now 8-star Rogan going to run a 2-2 split with that magic source. So let's jump in, see how it goes, and adjust accordingly. And run in that Dragon Pet still. So as you can see, the Drake is still fastest even without that enable, which is great. So our only real concern is too many actives stacking on the Delosium since they cannot remove it and the burn will slowly tick them down. But between Bloodlust from Rogan and everything else, we should be fine. The buff does miss Thakwa, unfortunately. We honestly probably don't even need Purify on a Thakwa, we could try without, see if we can get her just a little more damage. Yeah, as you can see, we debuff these Sigmunds pretty quickly, that's why Sigmund is one of the easiest heroes to sort of max out your damage against early on. I missed the buff that time, but it looks like it did not hit a Thakwa. Six hundred million active in round seven, not too bad. Oops, sorry for the lag, got too much stuff running, it looks like. Dragon does hit a Thakwa that time, so she will have an active in round ten with that buff. see how it does. 1.2 billion, that is awesome. Hopefully we have some good dot replication on these Delaciums and we will be in business. Dragon buff comes down. Hits a Thakwa again, awesome. So my next steps will be to try and get that Rogan to 9 star, depending on when I level up my Sherlock's if I have a chest left over, as well as start pushing those Delaciums. Nice 1.4 billion active. I'll be a 9 star, Rogan will give us a little bit higher uh, stats on that passive of his, which will help the Athaqua damage. Alright, one more dragon and potentially an active from Athaqua. Depending on the Glitter Demon Bell. No, we don't get one, unfortunately. See how we did? 127.4 billion, that is awesome. We are on pace for some great numbers. 20 billion from Athaqua, that is huge, and big damage from those Delaciums. Let's swap her away from Purify and try and get even more damage. One attack in, and we are already in second place. Let's go. I think she'll be fine with her sustain. I'm not too worried about the armor break or the burn damage.
She misses the buff, unfortunately. We could even be build the Delaceum's attack heavy for Sigmund, but there's no real reason to risk it. As long as they're alive, they're doing that dot replication. I mean, you saw they did 50 billion each last round. We're not going to get a ton more damage out of them, especially a 10 star. Maybe once I E5 them, we can build them more aggressive since they will be living longer. Um, I think I've got two copies at the moment, so we can get one of them to E3 so far. Which would help for Purify. Ooh, I need that one Delacium to get some Bloodthirsty on him. Okay, he does have it. Awesome. Look at that big heal. Rogan is basically like an upgraded Kiss of Ghost for stuff like this. It's definitely tight, but everyone gets a little more sustain with the Rogan active. Dragon coming down. Hits Athaqua, and she will have an active. 874 million. Looking good. Now the fish of Delacium needs a Rogan active. I've also got one extra skin chest, so I may go with two fish boys. We will have to see. Even after I get a second Garuda skin. That was a smaller active from Athaqua, 790 million. But Dragon will be coming out in round 12. It hits her, but I don't think she will get around. Th oh, she may get around 13 active, we will see. She does, thanks to that Glitter Demon Bell. 1.2 billion, looking good. Let's look at these around 15 dots if we can, or the end around 14. See how we're doing on this back segment. Six point two billion damage on those dots. That is awesome. Let's see how we did. Yeah, eighty six point four billion. Definitely not bad, and I will take it. Our goal is to break eighty three point three billion on every attack. That will give us enough to finally break that one trillion barrier. So Athaqua is hitting for twenty billion now, which is awesome. Slightly worse dot replication on those Delaceums, but again, it is a bit RNG heavy. But with two attacks, we are 100 billion away from randomized. So yeah, the the Rogan upgrade will help. And then getting the Delaceums to E5, they can put out some decent damage on their own. So it's it's definitely definitely room for improvement. As well as getting those Antlers came past Glittery would be huge. Uh, not really worth the 400 relics of this event. So I'm hoping they are in another reward somewhere soon. If I were to spend relics on anything, it would be an AMB right now, probably. Uh, I could also upgrade the one Demon Bell from Glittery to Splendid, since the regular Demon Bell isn't helping much. Um, but it would depend on how my PvP team shakes out and if I wanted two Demon Bells for it. Um, but yeah, upgraded Demon Bell helps if Aqua get energy, whereas regular ones, I don't really need the extra attack on Drake or Heart Watcher, as they're not doing, or really Heart Watcher, as Drake would run the better one. Um, since she does a negligible amount of damage. Alright, round 7. 617 million, not too bad. It is nice to be able to fight Sigmund and not be too concerned about everyone surviving. Dragon comes down, misses Athaqua again, unfortunately. This will definitely be in the, the lower ranges. Still 730 million active in round 10. Not terrible. Thakwa does get the Dragon Buff that time. Just over 1 billion. Excellent. I am loving how this Drake skin looks. And if I do run him in my PvP team, it will have use in both, which is fun. Um, but regardless, he will be E5 soon. So should be able to get 1 billion damage from him in these lineups, which would be a nice upgrade. 
I think he's been putting around 600 million for us. But at E5, we could build him like 3 1 and uh, full attack enables probably. Alright, this one will probably be 92.1 billion. Awesome. So higher than the last round, we will take it. And we have got one attack left after this. But yeah, so 19 billion Athaqua does do better damage against Sigmund. Um, this delay seemed to not get the dot replication, but this other guy made up for it. Um, yeah, so 500 million for Drake. I think we could get a billion with him, which, I mean, that would bring us up to 92.6. Does not hurt. Uh, we should be in first place now? No. So, we only need uh, 4 billion to beat randomized, so we will be fine. But let's jump in and try and get some records to finally break that 1 trillion barrier I've been trying for. Let me know, I know this is not quite Delacium content, but the Delacium Broken Space and video will be out soon. So let me know in the comments if you guys want to see me try and optimize that any further, or just do another hero, um, since the Garuda one is also done. Dragon Active does hit Ithaqua, just under 700 million. Yeah, I was thinking about either trying like a Horus or a Penny or a Russell, just to show you guys what like a solo damage dealer with that setup will do. Or I can try and get the Delays and Broken Spaces video in even fewer tickets, which should be possible with my even minor upgrades and better strategy on BS6. Dragon misses a Thakwa, unfortunately. One Delays is getting a little low. I'd like for him to get an, uh, Bloodthirsty. Does not get it, but Dragon is coming down. Oh, misses Athaqua again, that is unfortunate. I think we'll be alright, but definitely not a record setting run by any means. Oh, that was big damage. We may lose him around early. Yep, that's unfortunate. This run will definitely be a little lower damage. Who's about one round of the Lacey Replication, probably. We do get a Dragon active. 1.5 billion, though. Yeah, 62.6 billion. Not perfect, but our average should be just fine. Let's take a look how we did. Yeah, even in general, the Lacey's were lower. Ithaka was a little lower. Not great, but we still got 369 billion damage. So we are on track for 1 billion, and we have a nice solid lead over randomized. So that's it for today's video, but be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons down below if you like the content, and I will catch you guys tomorrow.